Welcome again guys. We are talking about the basics of animal cell culture processes. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about very important but very simple things. That is, uh, that are the, what are the things a cell requires to grow in medium? Okay, so let's begin. So usually, according to myself, there are four things that are required for animal cell culture process. That is, you know, one is the substrate that can be solid surface or liquid for the suspension type of cells they will usually grow in in the liquid medium just putting them but for the anchorage dependent type of cells we require a solid surface for their growth second thing what we require is a energy source that is nutrients what we can light energy source third thing that we require are you know environmental factors and fourth thing we require is sterility because sterility is a very very important thing without sterility nothing no cell can grow because contamination will be there and cell will die and every effort that we put will just go fade away so here uh, substrate like solid or liquid solid substrate is for you know for the anchor is dependent type of case Anchor is dependent, liquid is for the suspension type. Nutrients means energy source, example is it can be carbon source that is also called as carbon source and also nitrogen source. For the carbon source part we have glucose, we have galactose right and for the nitrogen source we are having amino acids different amino acids are provided even non essential amino acids are also been provided non essential amino acids are required for the growth of these cells and environmental factors means temperature for incubation that is most of the time 37 degrees celsius temperature because this is uh, the physiological temperature of our body and we require oxygen and carbon dioxide balance that is very very important depending upon the cell that grows there so this balance is maintained in different uh, atmospheric chamber then we require you know proper balance of buffering system buffers to maintain the ph of the media because buffer is very very important you know in our body uh, it is completely buffered the system is buffered all the time so that problems won't happen so that's why buffers are very very important strong buffers are required and also in the nutrients part we require trace elements different type of trace elements or micro elements you know trace elements means zinc molybdenum cobalt and so on we also require some major type of some major type of salts because salts provide the osmolarity it, it balances the osmolarity and it also helps in the buffering second thing is salts uh, different types like you know Na plus, Cl minus, and sodium, potassium, all those different salts, sodium, potassium, say chlorine, all those different salts, they are very much important for, they also act as cofactor of different enzymes which are required to function inside the cell to make the cell properly functioning and continuously dividing. So, salts are also required there. Vitamins, among the trace elements we can also write vitamins because vitamins are very important because vitamins also act as cofactors of different enzymes so we need to supply vitamins there so these are among uh, the nutrient source and environmental factors and also we require growth factor that i put completely different differently growth factor different hormones growth hormones like you can say for example you know hormones like we can put here insulin insulin can also act as this growth factor and many other hormones are also there but insulin is one example so you need to use this for their growth of the cell because inside the cell inside the organ these factors are already produced in by the different cells but once we are doing this process in vitro we need to supply it from outside and and finally the sterility for the sterility we need to rely on different sterile conditions right sterile conditions and also we need to we can use antibiotics can use antibiotics different types so that the cultures won't be contaminated by bacteria because all these cases cell cultures are very much fragile to be contaminated by bacterial infections or fungal infections or you know yeast 
and many other type of mold infections and also microplasma in infections so to prevent all those infection we need to use antibiotics certain types of antibiotics are required you know more antibiotic can also kill harm uh, for our own cells that is placed in the culture so we need to be very careful about administrating them so depend upon all these things maintaining ph is very important the temperature for the growth is important and supplements are very important so combining all these things we have basic type of media that is called as the basal media because basal media has this osmolarity balance due to the presence of the salts like sodium potassium chlorine and all this type of salts and also they also have buffering system they have you know all the necessary ingredients like hormones like insulin they have non essential amino acids they have other trace elements and also glucose or galactose as their nutrient sources so basal media in a sense acts as a proper very basic media for growing any type of cell but obviously if you want to culture different varieties of cell depends upon the type there are different varieties of medium that is pre uh, provided we'll be talking about all those complicated mediums later but usually this is overall the materials that are required for animal cell to grow and divide